During the summer season here in San Antonio, we have a worship service in the 24-7 center every Sunday evening. One of these evenings, one of the hotel workers came in, let's call him Joe. He was very quick to say that he was an atheist, but that he was really moved by seeing the 24-7 mission teams just caring for the vulnerable, mopping up people's vomit, comforting the distress night in and night out in the streets of San Antonio. I don't believe in God, he said, but what you guys do, I love. When he came back the week after, we invited him to have a meal with us, and very soon he became a regular to our worship services and our meal times together. In one of these meal times, he said, guys, what you have here is not normal, it's out of this world. When we read about Jesus and the Last Supper in the book of Matthew, we see Jesus reclining at the table just having a meal with his disciples. They thought they were just gonna celebrate Passover in the same way that they always did before. What they didn't know is that what Jesus was about to say was going to blow their minds. It wasn't just another remembrance meal to celebrate the deliverance of Israel from captivity. No, it was gonna be the first meal to celebrate our deliverance from sin with Jesus as the Passover lamb. Jesus took the bread and broke it. He passed it around and he said, here it is, eat it, it's my body. He poured the wine, he passed it around and he said, this is my blood, drink it. The blood of a new covenant pour out for all for the forgiveness of sins. You see, what Jesus was doing here was massive. He was modeling the new kingdom of God no longer exclusive to some people, but open to all, a table where everybody is welcome. And we see a little bit later in Acts chapter 2, how Christians, they kept doing that together, eating in each other's houses, breaking the bread, with their hearts full of joy, praising God, and enjoying the favor of everybody around them. And the Bible says that the Lord added daily to their numbers those who were being saved. I think sometimes we can take for granted what we have as followers of Jesus in our Christian communities, doing life together, praying for one another, carrying each other's burdens. I think my friend Joe is in a journey towards Jesus and he was, he was right. What we have here is out of this world, is God's kingdom here on earth. Today, I want to invite you just to take time and to think who you might invite to your table.